and some breaking news that is just coming into us on a separate topic that I want to get to here on MSNBC, and that is a new, uh, a new subpoena here for we, a new request, I should say, to a member of Congress as the January 6th Select Committee is looking to speak with him about the situation as it related to the days before January 6th, tours, groups coming in, visiting the Capitol, et cetera. They're seeking more information about this, right? Fill us in. That's right, Hallie. The January 6th committee has sent a letter to Congressman Barry Loudermilk, a Republican of Georgia, asking for his voluntary cooperation with this investigation. Uh, this is different, I should say, than five recent subpoenas that were sent to House Republican members of Congress. This is simply a uh, letter for voluntary cooperation. And specifically, the committee is asking him for information uh, based on evidence that they, have say, that they say they have discovered about a tour that he led through parts of the Capitol on January 5th, 2021. That was, of course, the day before uh, that attack. I'm reading this letter right now. It just came in uh, moments ago. But they note that in the week following January 6th, members urged law enforcement leaders to investigate sightings of outside groups in the complex on January 5th. And there is suspicion uh, that some of the people who tried to attack the Capitol, who successfully uh, broke into and attacked the Capitol, were trying to get a tour of the inside of the Capitol to try to plan their attack. Uh, again, this is a request for voluntary cooperation. They're not making direct allegations of wrongdoing to Congressman Loudermilk. They're simply saying, please come in and talk to us. We believe you have evidence that is relevant to this investigation. Hallie? And, and I want to highlight this, this piece from the letter here, because the, the January 6th Select Committee, the Chairman Betty Thompson, Vice Chair Liz Cheney, Republican, of course, sitting on that committee, say that members of Congress, in, including the Republicans on the Committee on House Administration, of which Congressman Loudermilk is a member, the letter says, claim to have reviewed security footage from the days before January 6th and determined that there were no tours, no large groups, no one with MAGA hats on, but adding that the Select Committee's review of evidence directly contradicts that denial. So the Select Committee is basically saying to the Congressman, we have evidence that shows what you said, what the committee members said, the Republican committee members said, is not true. Do we know anything more about what that evidence might be? It's not entirely clear, Hallie, but that would explain why this request is coming in so late. Uh, just about one month before the committee expects to begin public hearings, uh, members of Congress, a number of them, have denied uh, suggestions of wrongdoing, denied allegations that they were somehow connected with groups involved in the January 6th attack. So this indicates that the January 6th committee has good reason to believe that uh, Congressman Loudermilk has information in his possession, or at least has, uh, you know, was aware uh, of certain things that are relevant to their investigation, if not uh, more pertinently, knows people who are trying to get a tour of the Capitol to try to, you know, plan their attack on the Capitol on January 6th.